What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shantia, and I am back with another banger, another word, okay? So listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, and the title of this video is Good News is Coming, okay? God is saying, stay put, stay where you are, okay? So listen, I'm going to pray and then we're going to get straight into the word. So dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful, matchless and marvelous day, Father God. Lord, I pray that there is none of me and all of you speaking through me. Lead me in everything that I do, say, talk, think and touch on today. Lord, I pray that today looks like um, the exact day that you created it to be before I was formed in my mother's womb. Father God, speak directly through me, Father God, to the person on the other side of this video, Lord. You know exactly what they need in this moment, so do only you can do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So listen, y'all, God led me to scripture, and he led me to a couple scriptures, but child, just bear with me, okay? So listen, so the first scripture I'm going to read is Genesis 26, 12, where it says, Isaac planted crops, okay, planted crops, meaning he sowed, okay, in that land, and the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him, okay, stay with me, child, listen, so um, then I'm going to jump down to um, Genesis 26, 14, and it says, he had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines uh, Philistines envied him, okay? Then verse 16 says, then, oh gosh, me and these names, then Abimelech, Abimelech, yes, Abby, then Abby said to Isaac, move away from us, you have become too powerful for us, okay? So listen, the more to the story, okay, the part that got me um, was, in Genesis, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This is the actual verse. Genesis 26, 3 says, stay in the land for a while and I will be with you and will and God will bless you. Oh, and will bless you. For you and your descendants, I will give all the lands and will confirm the oath I swore to your father Abraham. That's the verse. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tie it all together. So this passage was talking about how God told Isaac to stay in the place, okay, because he was going to bless him in that exact place, okay, but while Isaac was in that place, okay, in that land, um, the people that were around him became jealous of him, began to envy him, and then, of course, ultimately um, asked Isaac to move away from him because Isaac had become too powerful for him, okay? And when I read that scripture, I literally said, God, um, preparing the table before you in the presence of your enemies, okay? And so when God gave me the scripture that good news is coming, um, this is the notes that I wrote down and it says, God says, stay put. Okay. So that he can bless you. He says, stay where you are. Restoration is coming like never before. God said, you have sold in that land, okay? You have sold in the place that you are now, okay? So God is saying, you will reap in that same land. Do not try to move too fast. I'm going to bless you, okay? He says, if you move out of that place, the place that I placed you in, then you will miss your blessings, okay? So whatever place, place meaning whatever circumstance, whatever you are currently in right now in this moment, God is saying, just give me a little bit more time. Just give him a little bit more time. Listen, child, thank you, Holy Spirit. The same way that we have grace on others, okay? That we can be patient with others. The same way that we need to have grace on God, okay? God needs time to work on the things that you're praying for, okay? And he moves rapidly. He moves fast. But God is also a God of order, okay? So he has to take his precious time in, in order to make the best, okay? The best of whatever the situation that you're in, okay? God has to make the best of it. God is not going to give you no half full plate, okay? God is literally going to give you the best of the best, okay? That is just who God is. He is going to give you top notch, okay? And so what I wrote down, he, I wrote down, um, he said, what I have for you requires you to trust my plan, not your plan, okay? He says, I know some things look complete opposite of what I told you, but it's all part of the process. Then this is where I started laughing because he said, remember, I told you, you're about to laugh hysterically. Everything is shifting right before your eyes. I am answering your prayers rapidly. Okay. And then he said, I am going to bless you. So listen, 
All of this is just confirmation that good news is coming to you in the exact place that you're in, okay? In the exact job that you're in, in the exact house that you're in, in the exact lack that you're in, whatever your current circumstance that you are in right now, God is saying just stay put, okay? He's going to bless you in that exact place. He knows how to bless you. He knows how to get people's attention, okay? He knows how to set you on the heart of somebody. He knows what to do, okay? We do not have to worry about about God's plans or how God is going to make all things come together or how God's promises are going to come to pass, okay? God is God. He doesn't need our help. All he is asking us to do is to just trust his plan and to just stay put, okay? So listen, I pray that you all receive this quick prophetic word. Please take it back to God. It is not for everybody, but listen, okay? For the scripture to say that Isaac stayed put and it says Isaac planted crops in that land and the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. Okay, listen, don't move out of that place. Don't try to rush your process. Don't try to get out of that. But yet fix your focus. Okay, and focus on gratitude. Focus on what you have. Focus on what you can learn in this moment. Okay, because if you move too fast, you're going to miss some blessings. You're going to... um literally be leaving blessings on the table okay so listen i pray that you all can receive this word i love you all and i will see you all next time bye